We use uh, charcoal filters here because we, we run on well water and uh, I'm reusing the charcoal out of the filters. I cut the screen off of it. So now I'm just busting up the charcoal and putting it around the banana trees. It's, you know, same as, uh, you know, biochar pretty much. If I can hold on to it. Yeah. Boy, this is a... Tougher than I expected. Yeah. They make those look pretty good, don't they? Might have to find a better way of doing this. Do <laughs> you think? <laughs> All right. Reusing the charcoal from a charcoal filter. Take two. Better tool. <laughs> Much better tool. If you don't get the plastic in there. Yeah. We should have thought of this before. Right. Say so just throw the chunks around. And all we did was uh, we cut the filter off to get to it. But that's yeah, here's the... Screen that goes around it. Less stuff for the landfill. Yep. Reuse, repurpose. Y'all have a great day. Okay, we had a couple failures this week. If you saw the video, we... Uh, Got the guineas in here in our greenhouse garden area uh, because they were being pretty rough with the ducks and the chickens chasing them around well we got them in here we fenced this area off for them and what they do fly right back in there with the ducks and the chickens so we pretty much given up trying to keep them in here and they've kind of worked out their own pecking order with the ducks and the chickens now, and it doesn't seem to be quite as much um, hassle or fighting between them. One other issue we had was the Velcro. It actually did stick to the wood in some places, but some of them, I think because this wood was still pretty wet from the pressure treating, it didn't stick very well. So we went through and we nailed down the velcro which uh, fixed the problem of it peeling off and it holds the plastic to the uh, to the poles pretty good but we've also decided on the sides and in the back I got some fern strips and I put them down the sides because we're going to keep this down all winter and uh, with all the wind storms and stuff like that, we just thought it would be prudent to go ahead and screw those on there and just hold these down permanent. We can regulate the temperature on real hot days or warm days. We can roll this up and it shouldn't get too hot. Our plants are actually loving it in here. The sour sop is growing like a weed. It's really growing good. Our bananas are truly tiny bananas, and our double uh, manoirs are doing great. And that's our jackfruit. Jackfruit is growing good. The uh, 
dragon fruit. The dragon fruit seems to really like it in here. We got some starts in here. Some of our papayas uh, growing. And uh, here's our cuttings from our uh, um, cranberry hibiscus, which we're going to be potting here shortly. Probably later on today, if not tomorrow. But the greenhouse is doing great. We have, what is this, your spearmint? One spearmint, one's a lemon balm, I think. Yeah, lemon balm. And then I had another jackfruit pop up. Something was eating it. Yeah, pissed but, me off. But we, uh, it's still growing. I think it's going to be okay. We got it up here, up off the ground, so maybe it's, you know, whatever was eating it, we'll leave it alone. I need to separate these pineapples again. What is this? Oh, that's just a wood chip. But I need to separate this pineapple. It's already got two more of these little shoots. These are those, uh... Oriental. Ornamental. Or ornamental. Ornamental, not yeah. oriental. Totally different things, honey. <laughs> ornamental pineapples. Not edible, but they they look pretty cool. I like them. So that's it with the greenhouse. I got some cassava a few weeks back at the uh, Homestead Home Show in Tampa, and I it came in a, a one gallon bucket or one gallon uh, container and I separated it what they do is you see these these are little sticks of the cassava and they just cut it off stick it into the ground and then you get these little shoots up it had three of these in the in the container so I separated them and I'm putting them into this tire now This is a root crop. This is what we're going to make our cassava flour out of. So, in order to avoid the same trouble we had with the voles, with our sweet potatoes, I put this underneath the tire so that those little critters can't get up underneath here. So I got these out, and now all I got to do is go get some uh, wood chips and put around it, and they're set. So uh, we'll go on to the next project today. All right, it is the end of the day for Saturday here. Um, we did a lot of little things that we've been putting off. It's the end of the day, and as you can tell, it's getting dark. The last thing on our list is our lemon tree. As you can tell, it's fully loaded. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting to pick it at just the right time because we want to make sure that... Um, the lemon is almost totally green. I mean, um, yellow. Um, a little bit of it's green, only because the sun hasn't really gotten to that side. So the back side of some of these and the bottoms are kind of green, but not as bad as some of them. Um, like this one here is just starting to turn uh, yellow. So I'm not going to pick that. And there's a few in the back that haven't quite made it to this stage yet. But as you could tell, look at that gorgeous yellow. We're excited. So I'm going to go ahead and use my clippers because there are thorns on this. This is a Myers lemon tree. Um, so we are excited to actually be able to harvest this this year. This is the first time it produced. Um, so let's get started here. That one started to... No, that's fine. Right on the bottom. I'm going to set them there for right now. That's just a mold that they get, honey. That's another one. Beautiful. Oh. Think that one's ready? Yeah. Just sit them down on the ground as you cut them. No, because I've got to bend back over to pick them up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've been... Weed eating and everything today. Oh, that probably should have. Oh, that's played. fine. It'll. All right, let's see here. I think 
these two already? Um, yeah. Both? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, all these are going to be so good. We're going to make some lemonade. Oh. <laughs> make some lemonade. Boy, these branches are just popping right back up. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, that one's not Too ready. Many. This one, ow, son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your pain. <laughs> yeah, you are. That was something you would do to me. Oh, like you wouldn't get a chance. <laughs> um, that one's ready. Ow, ow freaking thorns. <laughs> Telling you, they're little. That's sick. But they're 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 little thorns, but they'll get you. Okay. Look at that. We're getting quite a haul off of there. Fine. I've never it's, seen anybody pick lemons or oranges like this. You know what? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've clipped it twice. <laughs> All right. There's three more left, but they're small or they're still green. So. We're going to leave those to ripen, but we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, dozen eleven, mile, twelve. A dozen mile lim lemons. Yep, and we got three more coming. So, remember guys, grow something for your family. Alright, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. We also are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we also have a Facebook group where you can post your own pictures and also make comments and help other people grow something for your family.